Hey, welcome back to my channel. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to go through the Fire TV Stick 4K Max expansion. Now, this will work on either one, whether it's the old 4K Max or the new one. And we're going to talk about some equipment. You'll notice we've got some stuff in front of me. I'm going to talk about these accessories, how you can take full advantage of them to have a 2 terabyte Fire TV Stick that has USB ports, multiple USB ports, and an Ethernet port to, so that you can get the most stable signal on your Fire TV Stick. So we're going to do that really quickly here. So first of all, I want to say in order to do what I'm going to share today, you do need a 4K Max. It could be the older generation like this one or the new one that just came out right here the process is exactly the same so in front of me you will notice i have some pieces of equipment it looks like a lot but it's really not so what do you need to expand your fire tv stick now if you've attempted this and you failed before for whatever reason definitely watch this video because more than likely you're going to figure out where you went wrong i have a 100 percent success rate on expanding storage got to make sure you have the right equipment and that's what i'm going to talk about right now so first of all, your Fire TV stick. This is what a Fire TV stick looks like if you don't obviously know that. Normally, your Fire TV stick will have this little cord right here that plugs into the tiny little port that there is. There's only one port on here. So it plugs into here. You've got this long cord. Then you have a plug in. You plug in that. It goes into the wall. Okay, so get rid of that. You don't need that anymore. So that is now void. You don't need that. I'm going to show you. This might be overkill for some, but keep in mind, these apps now coming out are bigger and bigger and bigger and a lot of people are starting to learn how to DVR and pause live TV on their Fire TV stick. Get rid of their cable bill. So in today's video, this is really important so that you can access those larger apps that are coming out and also potentially, if you watch some of our other videos, how to pause and record live TV. All right, so first of all, you need the Fire Stick, but you don't need the cords. Get rid of those. You need an OTG adapter. It's important that you get the right one. Again, I'll put links to all of this in the description section. So you're going to plug that into that little port. There was only one port on here. Now, now what you have is you have a USB port and you have another power cord. So this is a pass-through power and you have the USB on here. What some people will do is they'll just get a little thumb drive. They'll plug that in. You could do that, but the thumb drive needs to be really small. I would say under 64 gigs, maybe even less than that. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get two terabytes with this drive right here. Important that you get the right one. People are getting the wrong drive, so make sure you get the right one. So now that you have this right here, real simple. Now we're going to get crazy, and we're going to extend it with this little guy right here. Now this is what's called a hub, a USB hub. So just plug that right into that one USB port. Now you have this. Now you have three USB ports to put drives, keyboards, mice, all kinds of things you can hook up to your Fire TV Stick. There is a plethora of things, even external remotes that are better than the Fire Stick remote. You could plug in, you plug a little dongle into here, um, and I have videos on some of those. So now you've got this right here. So now what do you do? Well, now you need to plug in the drive. So it's important that you get a Seagate Backup Plus Slim Drive. Really important, guys. Uh, people are getting the wrong Seagate drives. And I put links in the descriptions of my videos. People don't see them. So that's why I want to make sure you click the title of my video. Go down into the description section and click that link. Because if you don't get the right drive, it's not going to work. Now what do you do? you got to return it. So if you want to get the most out of your Fire Stick, make sure you get the Seagate Slim Plus. Toshiba also has a Slim Drive that you can use. So I'll put both links in case this one is out of stock. Because they sell these out really fast. Because it's a fast, powerful drive that doesn't take up much power draw. The reason why Fire Stick expansions may not work for some people is power draw. So we're gonna talk about that, low power draw. So you're gonna plug that in right here to your one of the ports on your hub. You still have an ethernet port here that you can use if you want to, optional of course, plug this in directly to your modem for a more stable signal. So now you have all of this craziness hanging on here, but you've got a two terabyte drive, potentially. Now what do you need? emission power cable. Now this is probably the most important thing and the most overlooked thing when it comes to expanding storage. So what is this? So this is basically your old cord powered. So you're going to have that extra power to handle the processing on your drive. So you can put apps on your drive and you can run those apps on your drive but only if you have one of these. If you don't have a powered cord, it's going to go into what's called a boot loop. It's going to pull so much power from your Fire Stick and it's not enough, the amperage isn't enough, that it's going to loop and now it's not going to work. So if you've experienced that, that's the problem is you didn't have one of these emission power cables. It's really important. There's some generic versions of this that work. There's some that don't. Just get this one. It's not very expensive. 
Now, one of the things I do want to mention, and I didn't mention as clearly on my other video, is there's a little tag on here. What do you think this tag is? There's Every cord that has a tag, there's a reason why there's a tag. It tells you to charge this for 10 minutes before first use. If you do not charge this for 10 minutes before first use, you could corrupt the drive or damage your Fire TV stick. So you have to make sure this is pre-charged. So how do you pre-charge it? All you need to do, take your original plug that came with your Fire Stick, plug it into this end right here, and then plug it into the wall. All right, now just leave it for 10 minutes. I mean, heck, leave it for 20 minutes. It doesn't matter, but at least 10 minutes charge. Once you've done that, you can unplug this. Now it's charged. How do you plug it in? Well, see, remember this pass through right here? You're gonna plug it right into that, just like that. And then this could either go to the USB on your TV, or if you don't have a USB on your TV, I guess you could probably plug it right back into this plug and then into a power outlet. Probably need an extension cord because this isn't a very long cord. But that's how you do it, guys. So I literally walked you through the whole process, and it seems like a lot, guys. Maybe a solution, if you want to do something like this, maybe a solution might be to get an Android box that already has tons of storage. There's Android boxes out there that have 100, 200, 300 gigabytes of storage already. But if you like the Fire TV stick and you want to expand it to a two terabyte hard drive, and if you don't understand why you need a two terabyte hard drive, then the two terabyte hard drive is not for you. This is for those that understand the need for it because they are pausing and recording live TV or they're putting those really large new apps that are coming out there that are very graphic with tons of movies, tons of content free on your Fire Stick. You know you need the extra storage. So if you comment down below, I don't understand why you need it, then you don't need it because you're not doing, you're not taking full advantage of your Fire TV Stick. So this is what you got, guys. Two terabyte hard drive, Fire Stick, OTG adapter, hub, mission power cable pre-charge once you pre-charge it it'll automatically charge back up from the USB on your port so you don't have to do it twice it's just a one-time thing in the very beginning that's it hopefully I didn't talk too fast I probably did but it doesn't matter I'm just showing you what you need watch my other video that walks you through it step by step again hooking it up and again showing you the software I actually show you a screen on the fire stick where it shows you how to get to the two terabytes, what you do, what you plug in first, what you wait for, how to format the, format the drive properly. I literally walk you through the entire process. This video just shares with you what you need, and you need all this, guys. Kind of makes me laugh when I look at it, but to be honest with you, it's a two terabyte Fire Stick with incredible ability to expand even further if you want to pretty impressive i love the fire stick and i love the operating system and all the apps that are included in it so if you expand it now you just take full advantage of it i'm gonna do a q and a, q and a really quickly on some questions people had as far as the fire tv stick expansion so what's the first question i get people say how do i format it well watch the video because you need to format it as internal storage or device storage. It is different based on the location in the world you are. If you got your Fire Stick in the UK or Canada or Australia, it could be different than the US. And here in the US, it should say device storage. Do not do it as external storage. If you skip that part of my video and you do it as external storage, you might as well just start all over, reformat your drive, okay? So do it as device storage or internal storage, really important. Second question I get a lot of time, can I do this with an older Fire TV stick? Yes, but you need an additional program. This video is all about doing it on a 4K Max. It's a lot easier on a 4K Max. You don't need extra programs. You don't have to constantly move stuff back and forth. You can access it internally, so get a 4K Max. They're very inexpensive. The next question I get is, I'm trying to put apps on the external drive, and for whatever reason, it won't. It only goes to the internal. Well, that's because some of the apps that you might be trying to put on your external drive are built into the Fire TV Stick already or are in their app store that are, they pay Amazon money so that they can be on the internal drive. A way around that is to install all those apps, including those internal apps that are already built in from an app called Apptoid. Now I have videos on that on Patreon, so if you want to go over there, I can show you how to set that up. It's really simple. It doesn't cost you anything to go over there and see that video, but Apptoid is super, super important because then you can install any app you want and it will go directly to that external drive. You don't have to move it, you don't have to do anything. It goes to the external drive automatically. Another question I get is once I've installed the app on the Fire TV Stick external storage, for example, uh, TV Mate, which is a great program, and I want to set recordings on TV Mate, it's recording to your internal drive. Well, actually, when you set the recordings from TV Mate, you have to select 
the external drive. It will pop up, but people skip past it because you're always in a hurry in life, and I get it. So you skip past the part where you are actually selecting to go to the external drive. In TV Mate, you have to do that. Some other apps you have to as well. And finally, the last question I get is some people are saying that once they put the app on their Fire TV Stick external storage, they can't update that app while it's on the external storage. While that is true for some apps, it's not for all. So if it's an app that's updating all of the time, maybe it's best to just keep that on your internal storage. And there's enough storage on this to house some apps. You don't have to put them all on your external storage. But the external storage, the whole idea of it is so that you can put extra apps over there, ones that you don't update all the time. Or you can set it up as a recording, like a DVR type situation, where you can record, again, your live TV from your IPTV um, or other apps that are on the Fire Stick. You can download content onto it. But that will hopefully answer those questions for the Q&A. Expanding storage is critically important if you're going to be putting new apps on your Fire Stick or you set up a recorder, which is what I do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Guys, make sure you watch the full review video that I have because I go slower and I walk you through every single step of the process to expand your Fire TV stick. This is just a quick overview, showing you how to hook it up and what equipment you need. Again, I'll put links in the description section of this. If you're new to my channel, make sure you do subscribe. Reach out on Patreon if you have any questions or you need private help. Thanks again. Bye.